Hello viewers, welcome back again to our 18th session, our 17th session. Now, the topic of discussion today is marriage. We did introduce marriage in our previous lesson. Now, today, we will still get to the preparation and approach to marriage in the traditional African society. Now, remember in the previous lesson, we did look at what is the view of, of the, what is the Christian view on marriage and also the secular, secular view. Now today, you get to look at how is someone prepared? What approach do they give to marriage in the traditional African society? Now, welcome all and let us learn. Your teacher is Roger Michira. Now, how were people prepared, right? In the traditional African society, how were people prepared for marriage? Now, courtship varied from community to community, right? Courtship varied from community to community. What is courtship, right? Now, there is the period between engagement and the wedding ceremony, right? The, 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 that's what we call courtship. That period when you first engage and the wedding ceremony. Now, during courtship, premarital sex is forbidden. This is not the time you move around having sex with your, with your partner, right? Remember, that is in the traditional African society. The traditional African society. This is not the time, this is not the time you're moving around having sex, right? You are in that engagement. That's the collision period. You get to know each other, right? Now, courtship is the period between engagement and wedding ceremony. Now, we get to look at uh, what courtship is and how is it important in, uh, in, in the traditional African society. Now, the man and woman got to know each other and um, uh, that is, that is the, the man and woman get to know each other before marriage, right? You get to know the character, you get to know the behavior, right? The likes, the dislikes of, of your husband or wife. Not, not, you're not husband, but your partner. By then you're not a husband and wife. Your partner, right? Get to character, the, 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 the character and the behavior of your partner, the likes and dislikes, all those good, good. That's, that, that is when, that's, that, that, that's the period, that's the courtship period. Now, it was a period when girls and boys were instructed in family life education. For example, in a, for, for girls, this is how you need to take, of, take care of your man, this is how you need to touch your man, this is how you need to talk to him, right? For all of the boys, this is how you need to talk to your husband, to your wife, right? This is how you need to treat her, you need to be providing for the family, you are the head of the family, good, all those. Now also, the courtship period, that is the period for linking the two families together, right? Now the two families, are, uh, uh, they get to link the two families together, right? The, the, the spouse, the, 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 the boy's family and the girl's family, they get to, they get to know each other. And also, the couple, the couple had time to learn about one another, right? They get to learn about one another character and their families. Now, and also courtship is a simple, or a sign of the girl's presence in her home's home maternal, maternal home, right? Yes, that's the time, that's the period the girl is in the, in, in the maternal home. So it shows what? It showed, it shows that uh, it's a sign of uh, uh, the girl's pres presence in the maternal home. Now the families had an opportunity to check if the married couple was rated. Yes, you know, today, in today's society, a number of, uh, a number of people are marrying uh, uh, relatives. Right, the marrying relatives, because we don't have a seclusion period. We don't have that courtship period. You don't get to know who that is, who that is. Right? Are you related by blood? Right? Who are you? Who who is the girl? Who is the boy? Right? Are the families related? What of the grandfathers? Do they have the same ancestor? Right? So it gets to check if the married couple uh, were, were related. Now courtship also gives time to the family. To negotiate and pay the bride, the, the, the bride wealth and dowry. Yes, this is the time they get to, to negotiate. Oh, how do you think? How, how, how many cows are going to give you? How many goats are I going to give you? What about cash? Right? Give me 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 sheep. Right? 10 goats and 10, 10 cattle. Uh, sorry, 10 cows because uh, sheep, goats, uh, cows, they belong in the same family which is the cattle family. Now, they get to negotiate about, about, about the wealth the bride wealth. Now, bridal wealth was paid in, form, in, in terms of livestock, we had sheep, we had goats, we had cows, we had camels, pigs, for example, the Borana, there's the Somali, they are paid what? 
the camels. Good, let us look at that. Look at that. Yes, there is a, there is a, there is cow, that, those are cows, bulls. Good, you can see that. Then there is a, all those you can see them, right? There is a, cereals, all crops, all those, right? Now, can we get to look at importance of dowry? Importance of dowry. Now, it acts as a compensation for the girls in our home, right? A compensation, right? Remember, the girl has left. Now, what are you leaving us with? A compensation. Sears the marriage. It shows that indeed now you are married. It sears the marriage. It, it binds the marriage together. And also, it is a public expression of an appreciation of the coming of our new wife in the man's family. Yes, appreciation. Public uh, is, a, is a public appreciation. It also promotes friendship and cements a relationship between families. It promotes friendship and cements a relationship between families. It shows commitment and seriousness of the future husband. Good. Now, that's the importance of, of dowry. However, class, you get to look at those importance by yourself. Now, there is a task. There is a task by, by on your screen. Kindly get to work on that task. And uh, for reference, get to refer to Kelby Secondary Christian Religious Education Students Book for the third edition. And as always, this has been Elimi TV, your favorite learning channel. Stay tuned for more sessions of CRE. Thank you all for attending my class.